Hey guys, what's up? It's Annie. Today we are starting the vlog in Maryland, but we will not be here for long. I'm heading to New York City today. I'm going to visit my cousin Christina and I'm taking the Amtrak. So, so excited. I have not been to New York since December 2019, so it is time to go. But we're not just staying in New York City. We're gonna take a little beach adventure, so I will film that, and I will show you the brand new Amtrak station in New York City. I can't wait to see it. It's supposed to be awesome. So, yeah, let's head out to New York. Can we just take a minute to admire my mom's roses? Look how pretty those are. She definitely has the green thumb that I do not have, but simply gorgeous and no cicadas in sight. Guys, I was just saying I hadn't seen any cicadas and then here's a cicada right here. It's like it heard me talking. So my dad was just awesome enough to drop me off here at the BWI Amtrak station. BWI stands for Baltimore Washington International Airport, if you don't know, and this station is really close to the airport. You can take a bus over from the airport. But yeah, they redid this waiting room, I don't know, like maybe a year or two ago, and it is so nice in there now. There's nice restrooms. The restrooms are currently closed. I don't know if that's because of COVID or what. They have porta potties on the other side of the building. But yeah, they have a really nice waiting room in there. It's just so much nicer than the building used to be. But yeah, this is my preferred station of choice. I have maybe 20 minutes before my train leaves, so a little time to spare. And uh, yeah, very chill station. And today I am taking the Vermonter. Oh, it ends in New Haven. I'm only going to New York City, but yep, taking the Vermonter, number 54. So face coverings are still required on the train, so have mine on, ready to go. It's kind of weird to wear it because we stopped wearing them at work this week. If you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear it at work. So I'm not used to wearing it anymore. It kind of got out of the habit this week. But uh, yep, it's back on for Amtrak. And great news, we are on time. So the train should be here soon. There's already some other people lined up at the station. So I got my own row right by the window, which is pretty amazing because there were a lot of people on here. It was hard to get a window seat, but I just kept walking and I found one. I got a text message from Amtrak that just reminds me to wear my mask. They are not playing around. Sadly, they're not allowing seating in here, which would be nice, but I'm gonna go get some breakfast. So they do have a lot of reminders here to wear your mask. A Diet Coke and an egg and cheese sandwich. It had sausage in it, but I just told him to take off the sausage because I'm not going to eat it. Now we're just leaving Philadelphia. So I came up and I was hoping to see the train hall right away, but I guess I have to walk this way to find it. And I am still making my way to this new train station. Dedication, guys. I feel a change coming. Ooh, this is looking nicer now. Oh yeah. Ooh, already looks so much nicer. And now I am going up the escalators into where I think is the lobby of the hall, of Moynihan Hall. And then down there is where you would actually pick up your train. But this is the actual 
I guess lobby where you get food, all of that fun stuff. Oh man, this is so, 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 so much nicer than before. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. So airy and clean. Smells good. Oh, what a better place to wait for your train. Oh man, I am so psyched. Feels kind of like a European train station. So much nicer. And it says coming in fall 2021, there'll be a food hall over there. So that's cool. It looks like there's a restaurant up there. Ah, oh, this is so, so, so nice. Look at that cool clock. Wow. Beautiful. It looks like a Magnolia Bakery is coming here. Man. There's like a super nice Amtrak ticketing and baggage check-in. Oh, so much nicer than before. Dear New York, this is for you. Moynihan Train Hall. I don't live in New York, but I still say thank you. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, this bathroom is so nice. Like what? Right by the 31st Street 9th Avenue exit, they have this cool piece of art on the ceiling. It looks like the city upside down. That is so neat. You see it when you're walking up the stairs and I just used the restroom over there. Oh my gosh, so nice. A thousand times better than what I used to have to deal with at Penn Station. But look how cool that is. I think I'm gonna try to get a taxi or an Uber out here. Look, there's even like a map of the train hall and like brochures. Brochures, I'm gonna take a brochure. Oh my goodness, it is hot out here. The train station was nice and cool, um, but it is hot out here. I'm glad I'm wearing a tank top and flip flops, even though I always feel like a weirdo wearing flip flops in New York City, because no one does, but I'm waiting for my Uber and it should be here soon. Yay! And this is the outside of the hall. So beautiful. I think it used to be a post office back in the day, but now it is the Moynihan train hall. So awesome. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Last time we spoke, I was at the Moynihan train hall filming that for you guys. And then I got in my Uber, I went to Brooklyn, I met up with my cousin Christina and she showed me all around where she lives in Williamsburg. It was so cool, but I didn't film anything. We were just having a good time catching up and it was a beautiful day. Now, today, I am at Avon by the Sea, hanging out with more family, including Christina. And I'm gonna walk down to the boardwalk and show you guys the boardwalk here. It is a beautiful day. <laughs> it is late May. I think it's 91 degrees today, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, I figured I would walk over to the boardwalk and check it out with you guys. Avon by the Sea, New Jersey. It's my first time here and yeah, I really like it so far. It's so nice and chill and just really good vibes. So my hair is blowing in the wind. Let's go check it out. This is so fun. You have a whole boardwalk here to walk down. There's some restaurants over here at the Avon Pavilion. And it's just a nice a little chill walk down the boardwalk. Avon by the sea. Some people call it Avon by the sea, but I think it's Avon. But yeah, really pretty. There's definitely a lot of room on the beach here. And I think today you don't have to pay to use the beach. I don't think you have to pay until Memorial Day. I like these old timey lights. They remind me of Disney. They remind me of Disney's boardwalk, which, you know, just makes sense that it would remind me of that. What I absolutely love about this boardwalk is you can walk down the length of the beach to go to other places without burning your feet in the sand. That is so awesome. Great job, boardwalk. Great job. I 
I love filming these signs because I feel like in another year they won't be around and they'll be ancient history, but it'll be interesting to look back at all of the signage they had during COVID. I am going to get a Diet Pepsi because I am so freaking thirsty. Thankfully, I have $5 cash. It is slightly flat Diet Pepsi, but you know, I got a large, it's huge, it was $4, it's super hot, it's all good. And this is my view from right near the concession stands. Pretty good view. If you look at those rocks out there, they have them about every block, and they're really cool. There was one set of rocks that people were actually walking on, and I was tempted to go out there and walk on it, but decided to stay on the boardwalk and not get sandy, but yeah, they're all over the beach. Oh, you can see another one right there. Hey guys, what's up? I am in the Trenton Amtrak station, heading home to BWI, and I gotta say, this station is interesting. I got here, there was a man outside screaming at a car, waiting at a light, so that was special. And then I came into the station and there was a guy yelling at his girlfriend or wife. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been a lot of people watching. Uh, the guards that work here have their work cut out for them. They seem to be very nice. Um, but yeah, I have a little too much time here. The Uber picked me up early. I had a scheduled Uber and it picked me up early from the beach. So a little, a little too much time here. Uh, thankfully, they had a restroom. I was going to get some french fries in the McDonald's that was here. There was only one restaurant open. It was the McDonald's. Everything else was closed. And I walked into the McDonald's and the employees were like cursing up a storm. So I was like, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just wait to get on the train and it will be all good. We have our standard COVID-19 reminders right here in Trenton. And then, let's see, where am I going? I am taking the 503 train to Washington on time, music to my ears, and we are getting off at BWI. Yay. I think sitting outside is the way to go. Lots and lots of seating, and it's very quiet and chill. And even though it's hot outside, it's breezy. So if you come here, I think I think sit outside. Now a lady is singing at the top of her lungs across the platform across from me. I guess she just wanted to give us a free concert here. It's hard to hear because the train's coming. 